Hi, my name is Justin Latimer, and I'm going to show you a recent Total War battle replay from Rome Total War. This time I'm playing as Carthage. My opponent is the Brutii. The battlefield is the Libyan Plains. My infantry is composed of two units of Sacred Band and three units of Poeni Infantry. I've also brought quite a few Iberian infantry, three units of them. I brought two units of skirmishers with experience upgrades, and three units of slingers with experience upgrades. Oh, I have four units of Iberian infantry. Never mind, I didn't see this one back here. My cavalry, I have two units of long shield cavalry on this flank. And because my games are always no rules, and I had some Florins left, Denarii I left, I play Medieval Total War most of the time. I brought some elephants. This other unit of cavalry, with my general, is composed of two units of Sacred Band cavalry. For your viewing pleasure, I have made the battlefield sunset. My opponent over chat told me that Carthage is doomed. I mean, not only as a top, but you know, just historically, Carthage was eventually doomed to fall anyways. To which I replied, those are fighting words. And that's how we began this battle. My opponent has invested in a very well-equipped, experienced Roman legion. It is also quite small. He has... four units of urban cohort. A unit of auxilia and a unit of praetorian cavalry. So he doesn't have numbers on his side, but his men are highly experienced. He didn't quite like that I had brought elephants, but as I listed the game no rules, I meant no rules. His legionary urban cohort are doing really well against my sacred band at this point. My long shield cavalry have been tied up with his auxilia here, which is not good for me. Or his praetorian cavalry for that matter. I charge with my elephants. And some men go flying. On the other side, my Sacred Band Cavalry and my General are able to do quite a bit of damage to the Urban Cohort back here where his General is stationed. And the enemy General has been killed. My two units of Sacred Band are not able to fight off this Urban Cohort very well. I send my Skirmishers to help hit from the flank. Victory is a distinct possibility for them. The Poeni infantry have killed the legionnaires that were harassing them. These skirmishers are chasing off some urban cohort right now.
There are not many Roman soldiers left fighting anymore. I forgot about my Iberian infantry and I finally sent them in. They're not as good as the Arabian cohort. They're not as good as most Roman infantry. But they do have a sword and a shield and they are able to fight. And they are also quite cheap and quite numerous. So that's how they make up for it. My general is now by himself. His bodyguard has been completely destroyed. So I would like to point out that makes this that makes this captain a pretty impressive little guy. Captain Theodecles. Casualties inflicted. 32 for my general's bodyguard. And not a whole lot to talk about here. The enemy's army did really well. It was very efficient. I brought 1,378 men against 464. I killed 320, whereas my opponent killed 354. I have 1,062 men remaining, where the opponent has 138. So while the opponent may have had a more elite army, I had more men, and I still have more men. And sometimes numbers do confer an advantage. Good game to my opponent CD player. After this battle, he went on to get some revenge playing as the Spanish against my army, which was Freys. I didn't save that replay because it was not a very pretty battle for me. It started out well, but I ended up getting grinded up pretty bad by CD player. So good game, both games to CD player here. Thank you for watching. I will have more videos for you soon.